Graphing cosine. Now that we've seen how to graph a sine wave, it's important to also be comfortable graphing a cosine wave. As you will soon see, the two are very similar. Using our results from the unit circle we found previously, let's plot the points of a cosine as well. Again, we use the inputs as our x-axis and the output as our y-axis. Cos of 0 gives us 1, meaning our first point is at 0, 1. Cos of pi over 2 gives us 0, meaning our second point is at pi over 2, 0. Cos of pi gives us negative 1, giving us a point at pi negative 1. And finally, cos of 3 pi over 2 gives us a point at 3 pi over 2, 0. However, we're still missing our point for 2 pi. Using our knowledge of the unit circle, we can determine that cos of 2 pi is equal to the cos of 0, thus competing the wave's repetition with a point at 2 pi, 1. In the interest of time, I'm going to fill in the rest of the intermediate points on the graph, so we can see the shape of the cosine curve. However, just like sine, cosine can also be expanded in the positive and negative direction as we continuously rotate around the unit circle. As we can see, cos of x has the same amplitude and period of sine of x, 